Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2250 in VirtualBox. Now, Windows Whistler uh, 2250 was the first build in the technical beta series of the Whistler beta. So, uh, this was created uh, in the month of June of 2000. I couldn't do math there for a second, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this tutorial. Um, so we're going to create a new virtual machine, and by the way, we are going to be installing MS-DOS by doing this. So we're going to call this Windows Whistler Build 2250, and then we'll select Windows XP 32-bit as the version. Click Next, and leave this at 192. Click, click Next, then click Create, Next, Next, and then Create. Then here we're going to go to settings and then storage and then we're going to add a floppy controller here and then choose the first disk for uh, the setup of MS-DOS. So uh, there will be a video link in the description in order to uh, watch the video on how to install MS-DOS 6.22. So I'm going to go through the setup and then when I reach the BIOS day point I'll be right with you guys. So now we've hit the uh, date and time screen, and what we need to type in here is we need to type in 06 backslash 29 backslash 2000, or 00 in this case, since that would be the way to go, and then click enter, and that will save that date in there. So now we can continue with the installation of MS-DOS, and I'll be back with you guys once I'm finished with that. Okay, so now we are finished installing MS-DOS with the CD driver, and you need to make sure that you have the Whistler 2250 ISO inserted into the drive, and then we need to go ahead and type in D colon and dir, and then that all works. And if you try typing setup from here, obviously it will not work. So you need to type in CD I386, and then type in setup. Excuse me, what am I thinking? You can tell that I mess up a lot. We need to actually boot from the CD. I totally am just blanking. I'm thinking I'm doing another tutorial. These disks are bootable. I don't know what I was thinking. So um, it's going to boot into the setup here. It's going to say setup is starting Windows 1000, but in reality, it is not Windows 2000. So here we click enter to continue and then enter on this. And then we're going to click enter to do the express setup. And then click F8 to accept the license agreement. It's going to check your disk. And then it's going to copy files over onto the hard drive. And once that is finished, it should do the first restart point. And now the computer is going to uh, ask to reboot, so click Enter to do so. And it'll restart the virtual machine. And then don't press any key to boot from the uh, CD or uh, DVD there. And of course, the boot logo is still Windows 2000 Professional. They have not yet changed that in this build. So. Um, now it's going to come up with the Windows Whistler uh, setup, and kind of just wait until the uh, installing devices window pops up, and then uh, it's going to just go through that process of installing your devices um, for Whistler. So um, that shouldn't take too long, as you can see, it's going fairly quickly here, as it's already. Uh, halfway through and your screen may blink uh, a couple times while this is uh, going through so uh, just let that go through and I'll be back with you guys once that is finished so it'll actually go through the process of installing networking components and then it's going to go ahead and copy files over um, as well and it's going to install the uh, Whistler uh, components so uh, as you can see that's going fairly fairly quick and not taking too much time whatsoever so um, this should be done 
within no time and uh, it will ask for you to reboot uh, I believe for the second time and uh, as you can see we're already way over three-fourths of the way done and then it will go to installing start menu items and then registering components saving settings and then removing any temporary files used so um, this won't take long either since it's just performing some final tasks obviously of installing this build so um, kind of unsure if I want to pause or not just because of how quick it's going but I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll be right back once it restarts so here it's coming up with the reboot and uh, I let it go all the way through I guess since I just about missed it and uh, of course it's going to say press any key to boot from the CD please do not do that and now go ahead and click enter to boot up into Windows it will give you that boot option with that and uh, and MS DOS and it'll say Windows is starting up we will apply computer settings and should be yep so has sound that's good audio works and there we are we've successfully installed uh, Windows Whistler build 2250 Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and also comment your ideas down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.